and welcome back to part three of a beginner's guide to breeding canaries. So we've already seen how to select your birds and tell the difference between a male and female in part one. In part two, we've looked at feeding and housing and breeding essentials. And in part three, we're going to look at eggs, nest management and rearing and weaning young canaries. So, after a successful introduction and a successful mating of canaries, between seven and 10 days later, we can expect to see our first egg. Now, canaries lay eggs every day. Uh, they generally lay eggs first thing in the morning. Those eggs can be uh, up to six in a clutch, but it's not unusual to get a clutch of three, four or five eggs. So try not to worry if you don't see six eggs. Some breeders recommend taking the eggs away before incubation starts and replacing them with dummy eggs. This is to ensure that all of the young hatch on the same day. Okay, so if you think about um, the eggs laying, if a hen was to incubate from day one and was to lay six eggs, the difference between a six day old chick and a newly born chick is significant and the concern from the breeder is always that that young chick the youngest chick would be squished in the nest it wouldn't be big enough to survive its siblings presence so once you have a set of nest eggs laid and set um, and what i often do is firm down the nest with a um a little contraption which is a, a, a darning mushroom or a knitting mushroom, um, which I use, it's a wooden piece of kit, which I use just to firm the bottom of the nest. And what that means is that the eggs can be turned by the canary hen. If you don't do that, there is always a danger that the hen will, uh, a, an egg will get stuck and the hen won't be able to turn it. And in turning it, then it will die in the shell. So it will be dead in the shell. So. 14 days later, sometimes 13, sometimes 12, sometimes 16, but as a general rule, two weeks after the eggs are set, we should start to see this. And this is the look of new life. And for me, and I've kept canaries for over 25 years, that first chick of the season is always, always a joyful, joyful moment. Once the young are hatched, what we do, they will absorb the uh, yolk from the uh, eggshell and the egg sac. Um, and once they've done that, then they will need feeding by the canary hen. And if you've left the male in, the male as well. Now, I offer um, egg food and I offer greens. I offer greens in the form of broccoli. I offer greens in the form of watercress and they are both readily taken by the birds to um, enjoy and feed the young. On this channel, there is a guide to making soak seed, which I also offer the birds. There is also a guide to making egg food, and egg food for me is an essential part of helping the young birds rear and wean. The growth of the young chicks is pretty phenomenal. Um, they start out as very small, tiny little squiggly worm like things and very quickly at around about 10 to 12 days start to feather up and start to look like quite sweet little chicks in the nest at this time it's often you can tell what color they're going to be and um, so it's always nice to see the color of the birds start to come through a hen will continue to feed and around about 12 to 14 days will show signs of being interested in going back to nest. Now, if I am running birds as a pair, what I'll do at this stage is remove the nest pan from the front of the cage and put it in a terracotta pot towards the back of the cage. And I'll generally do this around 12 to 13 days. 
and I will replace the nest pan with a new nest pan in the same place and offer new nesting material. Now it's important that you offer new nesting material, otherwise the hen may pluck the young and use the young's feathers to line the nest. If you have a cockbird still there, in all likelihood, and he isn't too um, uh, agitating, in all likelihood, he will continue to feed the young while the hen sets about um, creating a second nest. Now, often what happens if the pair are together, they will have still mated. A hen can hold sperm for a period of time anyway, so often the, the second clutch can be fertilised. Um, but what you'll find is the hen will build the second nest, she'll lay. At the same time, you often find that the young from the first nest start to venture out. Invariably, they will go in the new nest site, so you need to be careful. I do, as a general rule, take the eggs away in the second round because you don't want them to be fouled by the youngsters' droppings or broken. Um, so I do, as a general rule, take them out. And then I offer a, a pecking board to the young birds in the nest so that they can start to become self-sufficient and self-feed. And what you're looking for is a, a, an absolute guarantee that those birds are feeding themselves, okay? Um, it's difficult to put a date on because some birds are away and feeding themselves at 21 days. Some birds take 27, 28, 29 days. So I wouldn't want to put a time on it. What you need to do is look at your birds and understand, be confident that those birds are feeding themselves and that they're getting everything that they need, all of the nutrients, because as you move them, and again on the channel, I'll put a link in here. There's a guide to weaning birds and preparing for the second round. As you move those birds, um, you end up with, uh, you know, you want to end up with as many of those young viable as possible. So, of course, you've bred some birds now. You're going to need more space. Listen, I hope you've enjoyed this little mini series. Um, if you have, please hit a like. Please give us a thumbs up and please feel free to share the content. If you've enjoyed this, there is plenty more of this kind of advice right here in the Canary Room. We're on YouTube. We come out every Sunday at 9 a.m. There is over seven seasons of the channel there. If this is the first time watching us, head over to the channel now and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching.